Hey, how are you? How are Joe Bujan? Sorry I haven't been putting out a lot of videos lately. I've been dealing with a boatload of personal shit. For one, I got evicted. It's a long story, but my roommate found the video camera I hid in his bedroom so I could see the chicks he brings home. He threatened to call the cops, yada, yada, yada. I'm living at Ikea. I usually start my day uh, crawling out of this tent in the kids section where I sleep at night to avoid the security guards. Then I'll uh, hop in the shower, have a quick scrub down, gurgle some mouthwash. After getting freshened up, I'll head up my office for a little bit, you know, check on my latest Suzy designs. I know you've said plenty of times, that's as cheap as you can go. That's as cheap as you can go. Believe me, just start cutting corners, right? There's always a way to go lower. Make some conference calls. We got, we got an IT guy around here. The screen's frozen, conveniently on the IKEA homepage again. By that time, it's already getting like, you know, close to lunchtime, so come through the canteen. If you find like 12 of these bones, Boil them in some hot water, which you can get for free over there. You got yourself a nice chicken broth. Usually you can uh, scoop up a few spare meatballs left behind. Jackpot! If I'm lucky, there's also some salmon scraps. I'll take that back to the kitchen, serve myself a nice little meal. That was some good Swedish tuna. I'll get to those later. After that point, I'm pretty exhausted, so I'll hit up the bedroom section, find a mattress that's the softest, and take a little napski. Han shufu. So nice. If I have trouble falling asleep, there's always a few cuddle buddies I can find. And then I'll try on some new clothes. I'll try to make some friends because, you know, I see a lot of familiar faces here day in and day out. My friend has a uh, PS3. Tomorrow, I'll ask him if he can drop it off. So I was actually uh, living here for five days with a buddy of mine, and it was awesome. At night, we'd have the place to ourselves. We'd go around building forts. But then the cop showed up. Turns out he was six years old and had run away from home. So now it's just me. Then I'll head back to the canteen with some coffee. Now you can go to Starbucks and pay out the ass for a Fappuccino, but me and the rest of the old folks here, we know what's up. You sign up for an IKEA family card, they give you this cup, you get free coffee all day. But let me let you in on a little secret. You don't just have to fill it up with coffee. Yeah, Fanta, why not? Gambe. Well, Judzai, Jigadifan. Go ahead. No. Bushu Shanghai, Wo Chu Zai, Jili. IKEA. That's around the time I'll feel nap number two coming on. Jesus. It's about 6 p.m. when I wake up and I'm getting hungry again, so I'll go downstairs, see if anyone left a hot dog behind. And if not, back up to the canteen and I'll just go a la carte. After that, I'll uh, rub one out, drop a deuce, and slide around on the trolley cars down the warehouse to tie myself out. Then I gotta hightail it back to my nest before the security guys do one last perimeter check. All in all, you know, I couldn't be less depressed. I just want to say thank you for always being there for me. And I love having these coffee chats, even though sometimes we don't drink coffee, right? 